Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another edition of Telescope Man. <clears throat> well, I every time I'm on the radio, it seems like, I hear uh, ham radio operators talking about the bands are dead, the bands are dead. You know, the old uh, Star Trek uh, joke with uh, Bones when he looks at Jim and says, they're all dead, Jim. Uh, it's kind of like one of those. Uh, they're very discouraged. Uh, they can't hear anything. Um, you know, we're in solar minimum now, so it's kind of to be expected. But what I wanted to show you today, I happened to get on the radio today, and uh, it's the 6th of February. I was on the radio around 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Now, I know a lot of you people work, and you're not going to be on the radio at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> well, that's kind of one of the advantages of being retired. Uh, you can get on the radio or do whatever you want uh, any time of the day or night. That's kind of an advantage I have over you, uh, more than likely. But what I wanted to do today was to show you my log for today and just give you an idea of uh, how the bands can kind of open up when you don't really expect it. Uh, haven't heard much DX lately. DX is what we call long distance communications, uh, usually overseas. Haven't heard much of that lately, uh, here and there, just a little bit, you know, very weak signals. But today they were coming in uh, fairly well for uh, this, this time in the solar minimum. Uh, I was getting quite a few uh, signals, I was seeing them uh, on the uh, radio. So. Uh, I want to take you over to my logbook for today, and again, it's February 6th, uh, 2017, about 3 o'clock in the afternoon or thereabouts, and uh, kind of show you some of the contacts I made today from my ham shack here in Central Texas, or Northeast Texas, uh, if you want to be exact about it. So let's switch over to the screen and I'll show you some of those contacts. <clears throat> and we're going to open up. I've already got uh, my QRZ page uh, opened up with my contacts. And as my old timers that watch me a lot know, I log all of my contacts as they occur on to the logbook at qrz.com. And so here we are with today's contacts. And really what I want to show you is uh, you can see earlier in the afternoon, I'm down here somewhere, okay, at about 2110. And I made a, a United States contact right here. Uh, I'm sorry, right here, and uh, <clears throat> just happened to pick up one of the schools that were uh, transmitting for the uh, school roundup event that's going on right now, and uh, did make a contact with the DuBose uh, Middle School Radio Club. You can see that right here, and uh, then I made... I switched. I was on uh, single sideband voice. I cranked up uh, WSJTX software, went over to digital FT8, and of course there were a myriad number of signals coming in from the United States. No problem contacting someone in the United States. Uh, they were all over the place. Could have filled up the whole page uh, you know, doing that. But I continue to look for DX, long distance signals, coming in, whether I'm on single sideband, uh, voice, or on digital. And as you can see, I picked up uh, IT9 SSI over in Italy. Pick, picked them up, 
and made a contact with him. Uh, and if we can kind of go to his page, let me see if I can get that open for you. Here he is right here. And uh, we'll kind of look around, and you can see the contact right here on 20 meters FT8. And uh, a little more information, he's in uh, ITU Zone 28 in Italy. And uh, if we go to his website, let's just see if I can get you that. Here he is right here. And uh, it's got a little page here, and you can kind of scroll down it and see some of his contacts, whatnot. All right. So that right off the bat, I had uh, an Italy contact. Then I started picking up a bunch of United States contacts again, and if you look at the call signs, you can see they're they're kind of all over the place. You know, I'm picking them up. And here I go with a contact in Brazil at about that same time to PY5OD, PY5OD in Brazil. And uh, then I switch back to somebody in the United States. And then lo and behold, Japan started calling. I turned my beam. Uh, toward Japan just to see uh, if they could hear me and I started calling CQ uh, with the beam pointed uh, on the short path to uh, Japan which is from my location is about 313 degrees this is a short path over to Japan for me uh, at my uh, location here in Texas and as you can see, I managed to pick up uh, two uh, contacts in Japan. Uh, and they weren't really that hard. They weren't that hard to uh, pick up. JA4FKX and JA8BNP. Uh, and again, they were, all these contacts were on 20 meters. 20 meters. But I want to look down, look down right here. Let me kind of scroll the page up just a little bit and point to something. The other day on the 22nd of January, I happened to be just looking around and I switched over to 10 meters. Now, as you all know, 10 meters is mostly dead, but at this particular time on the 22nd, uh, I had a couple of really good signals coming in. Uh, one was to uh, Jay here, uh, WI9JAY, and we'll look at his page real quick right here. So you can get a look at his page, and here it is. He's in Wisconsin. And uh, you can see that up here. And he kind of gives you a look at his radio right here, what he's using. And so I was able to make this contact. And uh, let's see what time it was again. Uh, it was about 1846. So, uh, you know, again in the afternoon, and 10 meters happened to be open. You can see down here there was another one on the 12th, an opening uh, that I had. And I made a contact with Todd there on 10 meters. Uh, anyway, uh, let me get you back on my face now that I've kind of showed you my logs. We'll get you back over here. And there we go. So, what my point in all this is you never really can tell by looking at a propagation map uh, or prediction, you know, just what might be open. Uh, sporadic E takes place, and that's why it's called sporadic, because you can't predict it. It can happen at any time, uh, day or night, and it uh, just so happens that that particular frequency is open to some place in the world 
And it could be for a very short period of time, you know, five minutes to 20 minutes or maybe longer. Uh, and it just so happens if you happen to be sitting there scanning through the bands, you'll pick them up. So don't give up. They're out there. They're still transmitting. It's just a matter of uh, you're in the right place at the right time to receive them. And I can guarantee you uh, those contacts that I pointed out to you, you could do just what I did at that particular time with simply a dipole up or a long wire up at a proper height you could uh, make the same contacts that I made. So with that said, I just want to give you a little encouragement to keep trying. And remember to keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night. And there was a major discovery uh, that's been reported. Uh, they've seen exoplanets circling stars in other galaxies, not in the Milky Way, but in other galaxies for the very first time this past week. So uh, seems like there's a lot of stars with planets out there. Can't be alone. Just don't believe we're alone in the whole universe. Anyway, keep looking up. It's still up there. It's cloudy and cold, so I'm not going to be out there. 73, clear skies. Come on back for another episode of Telescope Man. Subscribe. I'll be back.